All right, guys, fun little comparison test for you guys. I still was just kind of in the garage and still have version one of DIY Incredible Suds. This is a pH of 8.5, and I have Active Foam, which is 9.5. So this has a little bit more bite to it. It is not pH neutral. This is pH neutral. I just wanted to spray them on my rear wheels and rinse them off and see if one cleans better than the other. I'm doing all of this without agitation. This is more just kind of a video for fun. Obviously this should have more bite. This should be stronger, should be able to pull off more, but it also can be kind of pricey. So let me go ahead and just spray these on the wheels. Just kind of a fun comparison. If you guys think one product or below, if you guys think a product over the other will win or do better, let me know why. I think Active Foam will. Technically with its pH, it should have a little bit more bite to it, but we'll do the paper towel test. We'll, we'll test all of it and kind of see uh, the Incredible Suds has like a grape scent to it, not my favorite, um, and then Active Foam has kind of like a sandalwood, kind of more like cologne scent that uh, is really good that I like. So you can see here, these wheels get a lot of brake dust on them and are definitely dirty. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray it on. And by the way, guys, if you guys are checking this out, this Auto Foam Sprayer, I've had this now for four, five months. It has just been awesome. The battery lasts a long time. It's It's been great. It's a really nice thick shaving cream foam. All right, you can see there, it is starting to pull different contaminants off the wheels. So we will test it, we'll see. Uh, DIY, Incredible Suds, I think their V2 is out now. It's a little bit thinner. I think they have a little bit different surfactants, so it cleans a little bit better. Uh, but the main thing is it's not as thick. A lot of people kind of complain that, you know, as you kind of use this in the bottle, move it around, it just kind of sticks. Uh, but that also increases, in, <laughs> that actually creates really thick suds. So. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this test is I just want to see, I'm always just curious, like, hey, do certain soaps make a difference? Do they make an impact? You know, one over the other, you know, active foam is a little bit stronger. I've kind of been using this for my wheel cleaner with a little bit of green star kind of mixed into it. And I found it does pretty, pretty good job. But this is more just kind of for fun to see if a lower pH soap actually can clean just as well uh, as something like active foam. So going to go ahead and let this dwell for a little bit. Um, I'll bring you guys in uh, briefly for the rinse off and uh, we'll go over to the active foam side. All right, let's go ahead and rinse it off the DIY incredible suds. And I just use, as you guys know, if you followed my channel, I just like using just a normal kind of garden sprayer for weeds, just because I feel sometimes pressure washers, really can impact or make it be deceiving how well a product cleans because of the power washer is taking a lot of the debris and dirt and other things off of there. So I'm not gonna share this whole video of me rinsing this off. Let's jump over to the active foam side. We'll let this dry, then we'll spray off the active foam and then we'll do a paper towel test to see which side cleans better. All right, active foam. This has kind of been my go-to wheel cleaner lately with a little bit of green star in there. Does a really good job. So you can see, goes on thick, just like Incredible Suds. Like I mentioned, kind of has more of a masculine kind of cologne scent, but you guys might have scents or things that you like better. I personally like the Koch Kemi a little bit better. I always kind of like it because it kind of, the scent kind of lingers, kind of sticks around in the garage. I like how it smells. So I'm going to go ahead and finish kind of getting this wheel nice and sudsed up here. Let it do its dwell time. We'll rinse it off and let's do the paper towel test. All right, apologies. My light went out. So light I do 
for detailing went out. So this is me spraying off the active foam side. Just didn't want you guys to think like, oh, I skipped ahead or I cheated one product over the other. So apologize for the poor lighting, but this is me spraying off active foam. And you can see down here, definitely done some good work. DIY over there has definitely done some really good work too. I'm really curious to see how this kind of pans out. I, I don't know right now, if you had to ask me, I think DIY might clean a little bit better, but let me go ahead and finish spraying this off. I think we're gonna come back tomorrow just because my light doesn't work anymore. And then we will do the paper towel test to see which one cleaned better. All right, guys, this is the next day. Let's go ahead and see how well the DIY side did. We're just gonna pick a spoke here. A little bit of dirt, not much. And then let's do inside the barrel. I'll try to do the same spot on each one. Okay, so that's the barrel. Honestly, not, not horrible. Okay, let's go ahead and leave this. So this is the DIY side. And let's go over here to the active foam side. As you guys can see here, a little bit better light. Okay, let's just pick a spoke. Let's just do this guy. Okay, so there. Now let's go into the barrel. Okay, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So this is active foam, Koch Chemi. And like I kind of mentioned to you guys, and then this is over here is DIY detail. Like I mentioned to you guys, I felt like when I saw the suds over here from DIY, that there was more dirt and things coming off of the surface. And what's interesting is the active foam, I mean, it's, it's a clear winner that the DIY actually clean better as a no touch than the Koch Chemi active foam. And the active foam is a pH of 9.5. DIY is pH of 8.5. And so what we can learn from this is guys, pH doesn't always matter. What matters is the surfactants that are used in the products to be able to break down the grind, to encapsulate it, to pull it off. And so surprisingly, uh, from my experience, and you can even just see here, the wheel, the wheel looks cleaner compared to the active foam side. And you look here on the active foam, and you can see there's still a lot of dirt, a lot of grime, a lot of different things. So DIY cleans better with a lower pH. So the surfactants are better, cleans better. I mean, you can see the wheel here. It's not perfect. You're going to need agitation, thousand percent, but actually cleaned better than the active foam. So was the, were these the results you guys thought would happen? Have you guys seen different results? What is your feedback? What, is, what have you guys experienced? Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.